The more I look into it, this was squashed out of the gate by EcoHealth, uh, NIH, especially WHO, and China itself. So uh, the American public deserves it. The, the world deserves it with all the turmoil that's been caused by it. Senator Mike Braun earlier in the show discussing the Senate bill requiring the Biden administration to declassify U.S. intel on the origins of COVID. Let's bring in Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary and a Fox News contributor. Ari, let me set it up a little bit more with the Wall Street Journal headline today on the editorial board. The virus lab theory's new credibility, the evidence catches up to Fauci and other Wuhan COVID deniers. Going on to say Mr. Biden is trying to cover for his embarrassing closure of the investigation because the dam has finally broken on the evidence that the virus may have escaped from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. The shame is that it took so long because the suspicious facts have been apparent from the start. It is you know, 16 months later, and we're actually spending our entire week talking about something that a lot of people brought up uh, about January 2020. And my only quibble with that editorial is it said new evidence. It's not necessarily just the new piece of this, which was the revelation that three scientists got hospitalized working at the Wuhan lab in November of 2019. But the evidence has been there all along. And here's what happened when people started to discuss the evidence about could this have come from the lab. Here's a very simple whiteboard for you. Who was right and who was wrong? Senator Tom Cotton in January of 2020 raised that possibility. He was on it from the beginning. National Review, Jim Garrity, a writer there, has mm -hmm. been on this and writing very thoughtful pieces from the beginning. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, he's talked about it. He left office talking about it. Here's who was wrong. The Washington Post. They said the theories that may have uh, begun in a lab were debunked. The New York Times called those theories fringe. One science reporter there called them racist. Facebook, as you just pointed out, they opposed the a debate of ideas, free thinking. They suppressed them about could this have begun in a lab. And finally, China itself. China did everything in its power to lie, to deceive. And it's amazing how the mainstream media went along with China. Ari, there's more. Uh, you mentioned a few there. Here's, um, well, here's a sample of what we heard um, throughout media outlets here. Roll this, number four. Trump's decision to focus American spy agencies on the government lab in Wuhan is nothing more than an effort to deflect blame. Coming up with a conspiracy theory to try and foment xenophobia um, with respect to um, the Chinese has just as much factual support as taking Clorox. This is just another example of, of the president trying to change the narrative from his own failings. Donald Trump is still pushing the debunked bunkum, despite his own intelligence community's findings that that is simply not true. So if Trump said it or did it, do the opposite, Ari. Yeah, this is just so terrible. It's anti-evidence, anti-science, anti-intellect, all in the service of get Trump politics. And we Americans have got to open up our eyes. If there is truth, if there is evidence, it needs to be pursued. But what happens too often with the critics of Donald Trump and the mainstream media, they think if it derives from the right, it must be wrong. Mm -hmm. And we are doing this nation a terrible disservice by not having free and honest debates anymore. The idea that it could have come from a lab always made sense. No one really credible was suggesting that it was done on purpose by China to get the world. But did it leak from the lab? Three million dead and we're not willing to take a hard look at what China's role was in this? We better now take a real hard, open look, release the intelligence at what China's role was in this, and the chips need to fall wherever they may because three million people have died and the world was in turmoil. Why? Don't we deserve to know? Uh, just quickly, Ari, uh, President Biden has asked for a, a response from the Intel community in another 90 days. Um, at that point, do you think that they will be transparent? Well, China will never be transparent. Just like the Soviet Union covered up Chernobyl, China is going to cover up whatever happened in that lab. But I don't know why it takes 90 days. Mm -hmm. This happened more than a year ago. Right. The intelligence community already knows these answers. They have the info they're going to get. I don't think there's much more they need to get. Release it. Ari, thank you. Yeah. Ari Fleischer, we'll talk again very soon. Thank Thanks. You.